Hi, I'm John Storms, and I got something cool in the mail today. Something from Pixel Controller LLC, also known as Falcon Christmas. So, let's see what it is. I get the feeling I'm going to feel pretty special here. Alright, let's see what we got. Ooh, look at that. The newest Falcon Pixel controller. This is the V3. And that's right. You've seen them in different colors. The last one was red. The first one was green. And now, what do we got? Get out of the packaging here. And now, yeah, that's right. It's white. Ooh. Come on. Be careful with it. Wow, that is gorgeous. Look at that. White pixel controller. Immediately, the first thing you notice is that it doesn't have that extra daughter card on top. Okay, here we have the little display. And look, I'll be the first one. Grab this. You peel that off, just like that, and you go, oh, that's my favorite thing with consumer electronics. And let's see, up here we got uh, the Wi-Fi, so this is a built-in wireless adapter. Up on top here we have two Ethernet ports, Ether0, Ether1. My understanding this is set up like an Ethernet hub. Here we have a USB port, how cool is that? Next to that is a micro SD card reader, very cool. And of course here we have three uh, RJ45 jacks for uh, controlling dumb pixels. This would be um, um, RS45 interfaces. Underneath the display we have the buttons that uh, allows you to uh, manually set the board even if you don't have a uh, computer hooked up to it. And of course here is the expansion interface. And then here we have all the outputs going to the various ports. Here we have V1 and V2, which provides power to the board, and then, of course, it's all fused. Very, very cool. Here, this looks like a fan connection. Awesome. Very nice. And here you have a jumper for external power, so you can power the board from external source. Very, very nice. Can't wait to hook this up and play with it. It's QC past. Man, this hobby's come a long way. So this works like a LAN switch, so you can essentially um, uh, daisy chain them together, or you can still hook them in a star pattern. Or here you got switches that will allow you to jumper it for Lightarama or DMX for the uh, RS-485. Here we have something labeled audio. So it looks like we'll be able to play audio directly from the board as well. And of course right there, you can see F16 V3 version 0.0 .0 designed by David Pitts. Looks like a beautiful board. I know what I'm doing with my three day weekend. Clyde, I can't believe you beat me to the unboxing video. Okay, that's it.